In this video I explain how to use auto lot size calculation in the expert mode and how you can combine grid trading with the auto calculation. You should have watched first how to use auto calculation in simple mode. There's an own video in the playlist for MetaGrid Trade Manager. In this video I explain in very deta detail how to use the auto lot size calculation in the simple mode and it's important that you watched this video first. Because the auto uh, lot size calculation in expert mode works the same like in simple mode. If you use grids in the expert mode, the auto lot size calculation is only made for the initial trade, not for the additional grid trades. But I show you how you can combine auto lot size calculation with grids. Uh, it's a very interesting method. I will show you this later in this video. Here we are on a meta grid on a chart. And if I go into the menu, it's the expert mode. As you can see, I have no grids. It's all um, put to zero here. And if we want to use the auto lot size calculation in expert mode, it's the same we do like in the simple mode. You can see it here, start lots. Um, if we here put a zero in it, like it is now, then this means we want that the uh, um, lot size is automatically calculated based on the risk and on the stop loss. These two things we need. We need the risk and the stop loss that Metagrid can calculate the correct lot size for our trade. So here it's the zero in it. And we say 2% is our risk. This means if our stop loss is hit, we lose 2% of our account balance, which is a demo account here with a lot of demo money on it, as you can see. So for example, if I click here on the stop loss uh, uh, button here, then I can place my stop loss uh, with a line. You can see then the stop loss line comes. And for example, if I add the stop loss here around, then Metagrid would, if I go immediately in the market where price is now, open the trade with this lot size. It's a high lot size because we have a big demo account here. Um, as you can see with over uh, 24,000 uh, euros here. And 2% means if we open this trade now at this moment, and then it would go against us and hit a stop loss, then we would have lost 2% uh, of the account balance. This is if we want to go immediately into the market. Um, if we want uh, to plan a trade, it's exactly the same. So let's plan a trade. Uh, we want to make a sell trade. We use the limit uh, um, uh, mode in this case, a limit order. We get here the line and then say we want to sell um, this pair here because you can see <clears throat> it looks like a resistance here. So if price comes all the way back, then we want that Metagrid here opens a sell trade. And we need, of course, a stop loss that we get the auto lot size calculation. So we click on this little green button that we can place the stop loss with a line uh, on it. And you can see here is the line and we place the stop loss logically here over this market structure. Um, and then you can see now Metagrid would open um, this trade with this lot size. The number differs a little bit because the spread is uh, important. If the uh, ch um, spread changes and uh, the ch uh, sorry the spread changes normally every second, then of course the lot size has to be recalculated too. So if price comes all the way back with this lot size, Metagrid would now open the trade that we only. Um, would lose 2% if price then hits our stop loss. And you can see if I um, put the stop loss here a little bit higher, then of course the lot size gets smaller because we have then a bigger stop loss and then we need a smaller lot size. So you don't have to calculate anything. It's very easy to do. Um, you place your stop loss, you place your entry line and Metagrid um, does the rest for you. Very easy. Of course, the auto lot size calculation does work also if you use here the stop loss field with a number. So we used at the moment uh, the line to um, place the stop loss. If you say, okay, I want a stop loss of say uh, 20 pips. So it's 200 ticks. We have to add here the, or the put here the 200 in it. This means 20 pips. Uh, then we click on save. 
And if we now place here again our trade like you saw it, uh, we do it here. Then you see that there is no lo uh, lot size shown here, but still Metagrid would make an auto lot size calculation in case our entry is hit. Here the only difference is if you use here a fixed number in it, then Metagrid does not show here um, the lot size. Okay, but still if price comes back here, Metagrid would open a sell trade with a 20 pip stop loss and would calculate the correct lot size for this um, 20 pips uh, stop loss. It works the same, only the difference is that you don't see here the um, lot size Metagrid uh, would use if the trade um, will be opened. But remember if you use the grids uh, here, we don't use it at the moment, you can see it's uh, uh, all put to zero, but if you use the grids, please remember that the auto lot size calculation is only made for the initial first trade. The grids will be opened with the lot size you put here in it. For example, in this case, uh, Metagrid would uh, make an example, please wait, um, let's do again a limit sell order. I put here zero in it, make save here in this case, and then we go again with a stop loss. We place the stop loss here, we place our entry here. So if price comes back, Metagrid would open the sell trade with this lot size. And if we now place grids, for example, let's say we make a negative uh, grid here with um, yeah, let's say five um, grids with a distance of each um, 20 pips. Let's click on save and then we make here the preview that we can see how the grid uh, looks like. Every red line is now an additional cell entry. So this trade would be opened here initially with this lot size. And then if the um, price goes further against us and would here hit our next entry, this is our first grid line, then Metagrid would open this trade with this at lot size. And it's at the moment one micro lot. This makes not uh, much sense. If you open here this trade with this high lot size, and then your grids will be opened with only one micro lot. This is not very wise and it would not um, bring you anything here. So what do we do? That we get here on this uh, grids um, the same lot size, for example, at we, as we had opened our initial trade or a higher lot size as we had here opened. For example, if we say we want here a little bit higher lot size as the first trade, and again we want here a little bit higher lot size as here, then we have of course to use the multiplier mode. Um, and in this case you should also have watched already the video where I explain the multiplier that you can understand now what I show you now, how do you combine auto calculation and the multiplier. First of all, we click here on close all that we can delete here our planned trade. And as you can see at the moment, we are not in the multiplayer player mode. We are in the add lots mode where we um, put here a lot size in it and every grid trade will be opened with this same lot size. We have to change this. We make the right mouse click on the chart. We go to expert advisors properties and then we change here in our settings the mode. You can see trade mode by default. At the moment there is a one in it. One means expert mode. This is okay, but we need here this field, add lots by. At the moment you can see by lots and we want to change this to multiplier. We double click on it, we change it to multiplier and we click on OK. And then if we now open again our menu, you can see that um, we have now the add multiplier mode. And now we can define the multiplier for our um, grids. And this is a very interesting method. If we now again use the auto lot size calculation, you can see we have the zero in it. So we are still in the auto lot size calculation mode. Let's do the same trade. We place our limit cell entry here around. And then we say our stop loss like you saw it, for example, here. 
And let's do the uh, negative grids manually. If you click here on the green button, which is on the same line as here on the end grid size, then we can place our entries, our additional entries in case that price goes against us manually. We get here the blue line. So let's say if price goes further against us after it was here opened, then here's the next resistance, for example, then we want here an additional trade, an additional sell trade. Then we want an additional sell trade here and we want an additional sell trade, for example, then here. So what is the trade looks like? If price comes back, Metagrid opens the trade here with this lot size and then we get additional sell trades here, here and here. But now we have to define the lot size. If you want that on all these blue lines, Metagrid opens the same lot size as the auto calculation did, then you only have to add here or put here a one in it. Because add multiplier one means every grid trades will have the same lot size as the initial trade. And as we don't know the initial trade lot size, because you can see um, it changes a little bit every time and we don't know exactly which lot size Metagrid will use if price comes here to our entry. It's very simple with the add multiplier one. We will then get the same lot size on uh, our additional entries as the first trade. If you want a higher lot size on every uh, blue line, then of course you can use uh, here the multiplier with a higher number. For example, you use 1.5. Then on this blue line, the lot size will be higher multiplied by 1.5 to the initial trade. So in this case, 1.51 multiplied with 1.5. This will give you the lot size you get here on this blue line. And again, on this blue line, the lot size will also um, increase uh, with the factor 1.5. And again here by 1.5. So you get a higher, higher and higher lot size based on the initial lot size. Yeah. Of course, you could uh, also do uh, um, the thing that you get here lower every time a lower uh, lot size. For example, if you use here 0 0.9, then Metagrid would decrease every trade here with the factor 0 0.9. So this is our initial lot size. Then this entry would be a little bit lower as the first uh, trade with the lot size based. And then again, we get a lower lot size here and again a lower lot size here. Uh, this you could also do if you want to do this. And with this method, you can use auto lot size calculation in combination with the additional grid trades. It's very nice to do this uh, because I use uh, grid trading very often. Um, it depends on which uh, system you want to use it, but grid trading can be very powerful for the correct methods and systems. And like I told you, with the auto lot size calculation, we don't know exactly the lot size we will get um, and when the trade is opened. We can use the add multiplier that we get um, the same or higher or lower lot size as our initial trade. And this is very easy, very simple. Um, and um, yeah, I hope it helps uh, for your uh, grid trading. One last thing. Like you know, all the settings in this menu can be changed on the fly. This means even if the trade is running, you can change here these parameters. For example, if we start here with the multiply at one and don't forget uh, to click here on the save button. Only if you click the save button, this um, parameters will be saved and used. So we begin here with the add multiplier one. We get how here our initial um, cell entry with this lot size here. Then Metagrid um, will open again here a cell trade with the same lot size because we have the multiplier one, but then say, okay, price uh, goes further against us and is close to this blue, blue line and the next sell trade will be opened here. But we want now a higher lot size. It's very easy. Then you change here to 1.5 and click on save again. And then Metagrid will here use a 1.5 higher lot size as here and here. So we get then here this lot size, we get the same lot size here. And then as because we changed now the multiplier, uh, we get here a higher lot size. So you can change the parameters while the trade is running and you can specify the numbers you want. 
If you see you want now a higher number, it's possible. This was the explanation of the expert mode and auto uh, lot size calculation in combination with the grid trading. I hope it helped and until next time, goodbye.